Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to be looking at vertically opposite angles. So, first thing you need to know is if a line goes that way, it's called vertical. And if a line goes sideways, then it's called horizontal. Next thing you need to know. If a line is straight and it has two angles, or maybe more, then all of this will be 180 degrees. It will add up to 180 degrees. If you have two lines crossing each other and you are measuring the angles on the inside, then all of those angles will always measure 360 degrees. So what exactly do you need to know for this objective? What you need to understand is when two lines are drawn and they cross each other, so it doesn't matter how, I, how different they look, even if they're really close to, to each other like that, or maybe they're really wide apart from each other. When you have two angles that are vertically opposite, so this is vertically opposite to this angle here, okay, they will actually measure the same. This one will measure the same as this one. And this angle will measure the same as this. And then what that also means as well, if I turn my whiteboard around, that means that this angle here will measure the same as this angle. And this angle will measure the same as this angle. And this small angle will measure the same as this small angle. Another thing that you will be asked to do, or you may be asked to do, is calculate missing angles. So if I told you that this angle here is 60 degrees, okay, just by knowing one of the missing angles, I can find out what angle A, B, and C is. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I said that all of these angles add up to 360. So if I know that this one's 60, then I know that the one that is vertically opposite, which is B, that one will also be 60. Then if I take away 60 and 60, take away 60, so that's this bit, take away 60, that's this bit. I should be left with 240 degrees. So that would then mean that this angle C and angle A together make 240. So if I've got two angles left and I divide this by two, I should get angle C is 120 and angle A is also 120. Hope that video made sense for you today. If it did, then please give me a big like down below and hopefully I'll see you in another one of my maths videos.